For some tailgaters, it's all about the game. For others, it's all about the booze. Hold up. We're getting f- our, our defensive down. Spring break! And for some, it's all about the food. But how prepared are these master grill chefs when it comes to food safety? Our cameras went to the hub of student tailgating at Kansas State University in pursuit of the answer. With the help of Dr. Doug Powell, director of the International Food Safety Network, we found some very interesting things. Dude, don't you have like some tongs? <laughs> I got some pliers, man. <laughs> These are some good food essentials. Bacon right here. You want some, man? I'm good, thanks. Why not? But that's not all. Hot wings? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, nice. Are they pre-cooked or...? No, no, they're raw. They're raw? How do you know when they're done? You don't. You just gotta get lucky. (laughs) Although, it wasn't all bad news. Do you ever use a meat thermometer to check the temperature? I have. Yeah? Yeah. It's gotta be 170 degrees. Yeah! Not bad, 160 for beef. Well, for beef, but we just go 170 for everything. That's good. Fortunately, Dr. Powell was able to enlighten a few future grill masters. They're done. What temperature? No, they're not. <laughs> what, what, what temperature for salmonella? 175. Uh, one, yeah. 165. Wow. So we got about, the about a, a couple of minutes. They said chicken okay, was awesome. 175. Because the temperature will keep increasing. You just saved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> about ten people's lives today. Wow, you're a good man. This is Brandon Cummins reporting for the International Food Safety Network and Manhattan Matters. What was the last time you barfed? <laughs> Love it. From food.